Over the years, Illustrator has become one of the preferred tools for many artists, including myself, when creating vector graphics. It is a really powerful tool, and you can almost create anything with it. Things like logos, icons, and even realistic-looking graphics. Illustrator is complex, and it can be intimidating. And maybe you know how frustrating it can be when you're trying to design something and it just doesn't look right. Most of the times, it's due to wrong highlights and shadows, missing reflections, or a wrong perspective. And sometimes, all that it takes is adding a highlight to make a flat shape come to life. And this is what this course is all about. How to add realism to your vector shapes. My name is Simona, and welcome to Tuts Plus. We are about to start the course creating realistic-looking graphics. In this course, we will learn all about making those shiny, realistic-looking illustrations. And I'm very excited to walk you through creating an awesome-looking radio clock with one of my favorite softwares, Adobe Illustrator. I will show you how you can bring a flat shape to life by adding highlights, reflections, shadows, and depth. And we will learn how to create chrome textures with the mesh tool. We will learn how to create a speaker grill with the blend tool. And we will learn how to make the best use of gradients and how to add glares to your shapes. And last but not least, we will also make good use of the opacity mask. And in the end, we will have a great looking realistic vector graphic. Now let's get started right away and let me show you how to add realism to vector shapes. <laughs> 